All right, welcome everyone to race number nine. We are back at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Eric Monaco is our pole sitter for today's race. All right, let's take you to trackside and we're getting ready for the race command as always. All right, here it is. Start your engines. Okay, engines fired up. We are ready to go. All right, field is rolling off. Eric Monaco in the 84 on pole alongside the 22 Chris Sang. After our race at the streets of Toronto, Brad Cheston has taken over the points lead. Despite his victory, he only has a seven point gap as Joe Hill was able to finish second and already got trouble. I think Joe Hill is already in trouble. No, that's the 96 actually. The 96 has a tire going down, not the zero car. All right, here we go. Getting ready to go green. Green flag is out. We're underway here at CTMP. And a great launch for the 84. Really got going there. Cody Smart in the 43. Gonna dip down low in turn one. He'll take second right off the bat. Twenty-three car Aaron Bates in four side by side for fifth. There is the four car Ryan Butcher and the twenty-four Nathan Norman who won the first event of this season. As you know, five A, B, and C. Some drivers go off, but others stay on the track. Like the twenty-three car, for the most part, he was able to take third away from the twenty-two. Not a good start for Chris Sang. Already dropped the fourth and maybe even fifth. As here comes Orman in the twenty-four, looking to win. Both Canadian tire races. Orman sitting ninth in points. The 24 car has been okay. It's a little bit inconsistent with only one top five being his victory and two top tens. But so far sitting in ninth place. Got a battle for second but the caution flag waves. Eric Monaco takes the yellow flag. And we will take a look at the replay. Alright so Mitchell Hodak in a 27. Going through 9, 10, 11. You know it. He was battling. With the three car, it looks like. Was that the three? No, that's a 12 car. He gets into the 12 car and he goes way off the course because of the contact and into the tire barriers. As you know, those tire barriers just completely destroy the car. Better than a concrete wall, but those barriers. Yeah, he hooks the 12 car, but he ends up going off himself. So it's a single car wreck caused by himself. Hard hit into the barriers as always as we've seen it time and time again. But only one car this time on the first lap. Everyone else made it through. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green. So the 27 is out of the race as we know it. Getting ready for the restart. For the rest of the drivers, Nikolai Dyke sits third, 33 points back. Josh King is fourth, 34 points back. Cody Smart is fifth. 36 points back. Cody Smart, fifth in points, highest running driver without a victory. He sits second at the moment. You know a win will be huge and will definitely put him in position for this championship. So far, only one top five for this 40, uh, 43 team. Well, the highest is three, so we, we only have a, gone eight races in. Green flag is out. We're back on our way. Cody Smart with a good launch. He'll take that lap. But Monaco with the inside line into turn one. But coming down into turn two. Monaco goes off a little bit. Oh, Bates, a little contact there. Nearly hooked him. That would have been a disaster. Would have wiped out both drivers. Still two by two here for almost every position. No one is landing up here, but they might have to land up here. There goes Cody way off the track. Way too far out. And he drops the fifth. You just can't go side by side there. Someone's going to go off into the dirt. Orman is third. 
at the moment with Chris Sang and Stephen Oaks. There's Josh King as Cody Smart loses a few more. Whoa, the 22 car way off into the grass. Still beat the 99 to the line there somehow. But he's going to lose two more. Imagine that was for the win. He's going to tuck in between. Cut off the four car. Ryan Butcher not having a great season. Our last season's champion sitting 21st. Still have a small chance to win it. Nope, got a car into the barriers. You heard it right there. Caution is instantly out. Oh, 96 and 31. And Monaco way off the track. So does the 23, but the 23 gets off much better. Might have a chance for the lead. There he goes. Side by side. Here we go. Side by side for third place too. Can they hang on? Don't wreck each other now. Bates is gonna clear. Oaks will also clear. Orman not quite. But they're giving each other a lot of room here, which is good. And coming to the stripe, it will be the 23 at the line. All right, caution is out for the second time. Let's take a look at the replay. So let's take a look here. Ibrahim and the noodles further back in the pack. The 96 side by side with Ibrahim. I think he was trying to clear him, but didn't work out. It wasn't even close to clear him. Both of them into those treacherous tire barriers. Let's go on board here. Let's start with the 31 actually. Yep, the 96 made a big move, was pushing hard, pushed a little too hard, tried to push Ibrahim off. But he also collects himself. Yeah, 100 miles an hour, still pretty brutal for both drivers. So another pair of cars, well no, well, two cars out of the race. So a total of three, and yeah, we don't know what happened to the 5090, still up in road. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. So the 59 is back out on the racetrack, one lap down. Not in a good position, Nikolai. As he says, third in points. Might lose that, uh, might lose third. Just Josh King is only a point back, and Cody Smart is two points back behind from third place. Alright, here we go. Getting ready to go green. Ten to go. Ah, shit. Green flag wave, he's back underway. Great restart for Monaco. Really good start. Can he cut down to the inside? He's gonna try it, but uh, not quite. Not gonna get there. Wait, maybe he does. He can. Yep, he got it actually. What a start for the 84. Retook the lead with a perfect restart. I know we love these double file restarts. Too bad it doesn't work at every track, like Autodrome Shorty Air. Too small. Side by side for second. Dude, here we go. And a 23, gonna sneak by and he will retake the lead. Orman and a 24 are trying to sweep both the races. A win would definitely push him up there as well. So who is... Well, everyone's pretty much desperate for a win. But the season is short. One win could be the difference as we got a car in the wall again. Will that bring out the yellow? Yes, it will. 98 and 4. Whoa, 3 wide. Oh, to 59. Phases through the wall. Back in front. Oh, it just clips it. All right, let's take a look at the replay. So another situation through 9, 10, and 11, or well, just 9 and 10. Almost collect a three car. So Brown and the Butcher, they both go off and into the tires they go. So pretty uh, standard wreck here at Canadian Tire. We've seen it many times. Brown just gets into the four car, the quarter panel. Four almost clips the three. Both of them off and destroyed. All right. Well, actually, one more time. Let's go on board with the four car this time. See how close he was from the three car. Just, just taps him enough to put damage to his uh, front end as well. 
So he actually hit him pretty hard, or hard enough. But the three car maintained his uh, speed and whatnot. His car kept on going like nothing even happened. All right, we'll take you back to the restart. Here we go. So two more cars out of the race. 21 cars left on the racetrack. Dykes is now two laps down. And trouble with Hiroshi. Again, 12 car with issues. There's a tire going down. Pace car is off. Here we go. Green flag waving, back on their way. Orman will take a lap. They got an advantage on the outside line, but once again it's turn one. It's usually the inside. Oaks at a 99, sitting in third place. Oaks having a much better season as we got more cars. Whoa, car upside down, almost over the wall. And I'll bring in another yellow. Still neck and neck for the race lead. Bon Armour is going to be in a huge disadvantage here. Bates drives it in deep. He pushes Orman off the track, but Monaco will slip through. Oh, can he hang on? No, he can't. I think he hit the barrier. Yep, and it causes a huge jam up. Monaco back to the front once again. Orman is not going to like that. Oaks looking for second place. Looks like he's got it. Not clear, but he'll have a slight advantage. As here comes Monaco taking the yellow flag once again. All right, let's take a look at the replay. We got a big one. Well, Monaco was close from the previous wreck, but he wasn't so close this time. He This time he gets turned. Looks like by Colin Bear in a 20. Gets hooked hard into the wall. There's a slight incline. That's what caused the three car to go over. He doesn't go fully on his roof, but he almost goes over the wall. Both cars wrecked out, and what a ride for the three car. Almost another flip, basically a flip. So, yeah, he just uh, running his line there. And yeah, that little slight little bump in the grass almost climbs over. I guess you could say it's a flip. In a way, Colin Bear in a 20 car, who was the one who turned him, just hooks the three car from the quarter panel, even gives him a little shot from the back. Tire Bear snags both cars, coming to a stop, but uh, luckily, uh, with a sudden stop, like, well, not really a sudden stop, like, almost. The well, three car could have easily went flying even more. But uh, usually what's worse. Anyways, let's take a look at the second wreck. As Orman and Bates were battling for the race lead. So Orman will not be able to sweep. So Bates drives it in there hard. He knocks the 24 way off. Even further out. Than he was already is. So he breaks a little loose. Trying to get it under control. But he just snags the tire barrier. Oh, bad hit. There's the 11 car. Josh King into the door. Then Samson into the 11. And then I think Cunningham as well collected. A little bit of damage there. So it was a hard battle for the race lead there. A little too hard. A little early for this. Still got a lot of time left here at CTMP. I mean, not that much time. So Orman took two big shots. His car was already wrecked out, and the 11 car, I think he was stuck. He got towed back to the pit road. Alright, so, fourth caution, I believe. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. So, that leaves us with 19 cars left. Monaco, Oaks, now take the front row. Bates and Sang, row 2. Parker Smith and Cody Smart, row 3. On this restart, pace car is off. Getting ready for another green flag restart. Green flag waves. What a launch for the 99. He really got going there. He quickly clears. Hope that didn't. He hope he didn't jump the restart there. That was really good. 
one and ninety nine. So Oaks is seventh in points at the moment. So so far so good compared to last season. And of course a victory will be huge, be huge for anybody, even if they're not a contender. Everybody goes off. Well, at least the top two do. Chris Sang in the 22 car looking for third. Not fully committed yet. He's just still peaking. Mostly peaking. Three quarters of the way. Okay, but he's going to retract that. Top four stays single file. Bumper to bumper. No one made a pass. All right, three laps to go left at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Who's going to win this race? It's been another eventful race here. A lot of battles, a lot of crashes, pushing and shoving and all that good stuff that we'd like to see in a race. Sang has lost a little bit of ground on the top three. So it's a three-way battle for the race lead. If only all road courses was like this. Oaks is off again. Way higher. Way off this time. Oh, little push there. He got aggressive. He knew Monaco was there. Monaco has been able to take advantage of everyone's mistake. Bates in the 23. Pushing the 84. So that contact did not do him any good. Approaching the two laps to go. This might get a little dicey. The 04 car looks like he's taken fourth away. Alright, a little bit of breathing room for Eric Monaco. Been swapping the lead all race long. Don't think he's ever fell lower than third. Or fourth, or definitely have not exited the top five. So this 84 car is strong as ever. A little bit of gap here. Bates goes off. Monaco gets into the grass just a little bit, but not as much. If you get into the dirt, although actually, Monaco might have been at a disadvantage. Those two were able to close in. All right, will we see an overtime finish? Will they make it through turn nine and 10 without crashing? You can see a little bit of pushing and shoving, but not much. Here we go. White flag is out, one more lap to go. Bates drove off a little too much there. Oaks in the 99 got held up. He's trying to make a pass. Bates chasing him back down. Gaining a little bit here. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. You know what's going to happen here. Monaco in the 84. Oaks goes way too hard. Monaco stays on the racetrack. Oaks way too far out. That's going to cost him third. Wow, he went really, really far off. And Bates in the 23. Drove it in there too hard. But Monaco, that was perfect. Perfect turn for the 84 car. And he's going to easily take this win. It was a three-car battle, but Eric Monaco will come out on top. Checkered flag in the air. Eric Monaco is going to win at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. And they all made it, it looks like. Well, at least the ones that are still out there. So we did not see an OT finish today. What a drive by the 84 car. What a drive. All right, let's take a look at the full race results.
All right, so there you have it. Eric Monaco who sat on the pole. Wasn't a dominant car, although he definitely had the fastest, most likely, or looked the fastest at least. Able to sneak by, hang on to the race lead. Bates and Oaks, who are second and third, waited a little too late or a little too long. They had a few opportunities to make that pass, but they waited a bit too much, made their mistakes, and probably cost them the race win. So Aaron Bates second, Parker Smith was able to get third after Oaks went so far off, he ends up finishing 3.1 seconds back. He was less than a second behind. Probably even less than that, half a second behind. And then he just went so far off, drove it in there too hard. He was a little aggressive with Monaco as there was some contact when they were battling. But uh, yep, ends up going to fourth. Chris Sang getting fifth. Cody Smart sixth. Brad Chesson seventh. Joe Hill eighth. Blazy Wittar ninth. And Jaron Calvin tenth. 18 cars finished race 70 on the lead lap. And yep, a lot of cars listed as accidents because that's all we had. No mechanical failures of any kind today. It's another eventful race here at CTMP. It's always a blast coming to this track. All right, so that is it here at Canadian Tire. We're going to head down south to much more familiar territory for two races this time. New Hampshire at Watkins Glen is up next. And now we can take you to Victory Lane.